Welcome or welcome back to Barrio Tales. Today's video will be about a series of gang-related shootings that happened real fast, shooting after shooting. For context, in San Diego County, the Sherman Heights gang is based in the Sherman Heights neighborhood. Logan Heights Red Steps is a subset of the Logan Heights gang based in southeast San Diego. The gangs are rivals and they claim adjacent San Diego neighborhoods as their territories. The year 2020 gang-related crimes spiked. San Diego County was no exception. On October 22, 2020, a Sherman Heights gang member named Jose Alberto Ortiz had been shot and killed. San Diego police found Jose shot near 27th Street and K Street after reports of a crash. Jose had still kept driving after he was shot until he crashed into a parked vehicle. Jose was taken to the hospital where he later died. The Sherman Heights gang responded back the next day, October 23, 2020, by shooting and killing Logan Heights Red Steps gang member Brian Romo. Just before 10 p.m. that night, several people called 911 to report gunfire in a parking lot at Chicano Park where a large crowd was gathered. Brian was also found in a car shot. Brian was taken to the hospital but died. The killer was later identified as rival Sherman Heights gang member Bryant Ruiz. Bryant was linked to Romo's murder because at the time of the murder, Bryant was on parole and wearing a GPS ankle monitor and he was tracked going from his home to the scene of the shooting and back on the night of October 23, 2020. Ruiz was arrested about five months later in connection with the shooting. Brian Ruiz from Sherman Heights pleaded guilty to voluntary manslaughter. And on June 15, 2023, Brian Ruiz from Sherman Heights was sentenced to 26 years in prison. Back to October 2020, in mid-afternoon, the day after Brian Romo's death, a Sherman Heights gang member who I refer to as OZ went to Grant Hill Park where he and other Sherman Heights gang members gathered in remembrance of Jose Ortiz, who was killed by Logan Heights Red Steps. When the gathering finished, the Sherman Heights gang members left the park, and OZ went home. Later that afternoon, Isaac Navarro, a Red Steps gang member and sworn enemy of Sherman Heights, was seen kicking over candles that had been lit at the gathering, which stained his jeans and shoes with candle wax. Around 5 p.m. that day, Navarro and George Rooston drove to Ozzy's residence in a white Ford sedan owned by another Logan Heights gang member. A witness observed a white sedan slowly drive past Ozzy's house. Ozzy then emerged from his house and got into his blue Honda Civic parked in the street. The white car then turned back around and pulled up alongside Ozzy. In drive-by fashion, with the two vehicles facing opposite directions so that their driver's side doors were adjacent, shots were fired from the Ford at OZ in the Honda. OZ from Sherman Heights got shot in his face. A bullet was to the right portion of OZ's nose and almost destroyed his face and part of his mouth. OZ's car then rolled forward and hit a car parked in front of it. The police arrived shortly after the shooting to find OZ sitting outside bleeding profusely from the gunshot wound to his face, with his mother holding a towel to his head. Paramedics arrived and took OZ to the hospital. The inside of OZ's vehicle contained blood, bone, and facial tissue. The bullet itself was found lodged in OZ's neck. Witnesses said they saw a white sedan slowly drive by OZ's house. Moments after OZ got into his car, witnesses saw the white sedan pull up fast and the witnesses heard gunshots. Soon after the shooting, in a high-speed pursuit, during the chase, Navarro stopped, discarded a gray Ruger handgun on the street, and dropped off Rooston. Rooston was picked up by a black SUV shortly after getting out of the Ford. DNA evidence was linked to Isaac Navarro, the other Red Steps gang member that was with Rooston. Detectives believe the shooting of OZ was retaliation for the shooting of Brian Romo the day before. Isaac Navarro from Logan Heights Red Steps gang took a plea deal and was sentenced to 17 years in prison. OZ from Sherman Heights getting shot by Red Steps would enhance Red Steps reputation. George Rooston from Logan Heights Red Steps was convicted of attempted murder from shooting Sherman Heights gang member OZ in his face. George Rooston was sentenced to prison for 50 years to life.